Take a look at the upper left corner of this surveillance video. It shows a car going airborne and crashing into the second floor of an office building. The car plowing through a window. I want to talk to you. I need your help finding my son, Christoph. No, so it's for this rides, guy again. You? Sure, for protection. But I can't go to him for a thing like this. My son is... he's young. He thinks with his mouth instead of his head. He doesn't understand that sometimes you've got to go along with people who aren't so good. Now he's run off to join Brecken's bunch at the tower. He thinks he's going to be a runner. It's not the safest line of work. He's going to get himself killed. He's not ready. He's too young to be out there. Shouldn't you be looking for him yourself? You don't understand. I make weapons for eyes. If the new ones aren't ready when his people come, me and Kristoff are both dead. Please, do this for me. I'll give you something good. Something special. Okay? Yeah, maybe I'll ask around at the tower. If I find something, I'll let you know. But if you ask me, your protection seems to have you pretty scared. You should really think about it. Okay, if you don't remember this guy, we actually um, were... Well, we encountered him a part of the main campaign when I had to turn the radio antennas on. So I'm going to find the fast way to travel, and that's by the zip line. There would be spitters here just like in the original. Oh no! They're everywhere now! <laughs> but in general, even having a house like under the highway pass, that's. I wouldn't say that's a, a very nice place to live. Oh, poo. I mentioned uh, a uh, spitter and there he was.
Okay, let's start asking some questions. You wouldn't have to know where Kristoff is, would you? Kristoff? You mean the new scout? I was supervising all the scouts. Why don't you ask him? He's on the 19th floor. Oh, man. This means we can survive for the next couple of days at least. Thank you so much. Copy. All right, that's it. There's nothing more you can do. Yeah, well, Rice can throw a lot more bodies at them than we can. No, negative. Cut your losses and get out of there. Copy. Out. Hey, Crane. Back from the field, huh? No, not for long. You know about a scout named Kristoff? Uh, the new kid, huh? Yeah, he went on a recon mission, but I haven't heard from him in a while. Rahim checked him out and said he was solid, but uh, I'm not so sure. One reckless kid okay. certifying another. <laughs> That's what Brecken said. Of course, he could be just his well, radio. Why did they allow Some him to Some of the do batteries it? are running down, so we're not getting much range out of them. Where was he headed? Out toward that newly constructed skyscraper. All right, I better go have a look. Hmm. Watch yourself out there, all right? All right, let's go see what uh, else can be done here. I read you, Kristoff. This is Crane. Where are you? I found some survivors. They're in pretty bad shape. We're just outside the hostel. Kristoff, hold tight. I'm on my way.
Okay, Kristoff, I can see you. I'm gonna get you out of there, but the first thing I need you to do is stop cranking that engine. You're just drawing them in. Right. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. Now stay put and sit tight. I'm gonna secure the area. I need help. Negative, Kristoff. Stay with the wounded. That's an order.
I've secured a safe zone. <sighs> Never been so scared in my life. Is it always like that? Pretty much. But you kept your head on and you saved those people's lives. It's, it's not bad for your first time out. Thanks, Crane. But if you hadn't shown up, we'd all be dead. How do you think your dad would feel about that? My dad? Oh, no, did he send you? Look, I'm not going to go back. I can't. I'm not working for Rice and his butcher squad. Look, I'm not asking you to go back. Well, that's what my dad wants, isn't it? He wants you to be safe. Yeah, working for Rice. How safe is that? It isn't. Sooner or later, they're gonna kill him. But if I can get your dad to stop working for Rice, will you hang up your running shoes? You're asking a lot. Yeah, you could make weapons for Brecken. God knows they need them, and you'd be saving your dad's life. Okay. Get him to join me here, and I'll quit being a runner. Okay, that was quite the epic save. Did you find him? Yeah, I did. Your son's in one of our secured zones. But I thought you were going to bring him back. No, he's not coming back, Alexei. He's a scout working for Brecken. And unless he gets a lot better at it in a hurry, he's not gonna last too long. But couldn't you talk some sense into him? No. So I'm gonna have to talk some sense into you. You wanna save your son? You stop making weapons for rice and go to the tower. Now your son said he'll give up being a runner if you'll join him. No, no. Sooner or later, Rice is going to tear that place down. It's not safe there. It's not safe anywhere, Alexei. And the question is, whose side are you on? See, right now you're on the wrong side, and your son doesn't want to have any part of it. <sighs> you're right. He is ashamed of me. I am ashamed of me. But I'm just trying to do what is best for him. Well, then today's your lucky day, Alexei, because what's best for him, it's also the right thing to do. Okay. You win. What the? 
Oh yes, this guy needs to learn his lesson too. Time to leave Rice. You right. It was always just a matter of time before they would come for me. And we come to the tower eventually. Oh, they will. But it is where I should be, with my son. In my case, there's a weapon I designed. Something special. I never crafted one because I didn't want to give it to Rise. I want you to take it. Good luck, Rain. Perhaps I will see you again.